The most important feature of any lead system when you're fishing in weed is the fish must be able to get rid of the lead and get rid of it quickly. So in my opinion, lead clips are the number one choice. I've got a few different setups here, starting with the simplest one first, using good old fashioned rig tube. This is the sinking green rig tube, which is matched perfectly to the silkweed out there. And I've probably got 18 inches, something like that, threaded on the line. Never bite the line and try and thread it through rig tubing. Cut it to a point and thread it through. It'll go much easier. And make sure you straighten the rig tube out in your fingers first so that the line goes through more easily. And then onto that, I'll put a rubber connector, exactly the same one that's used in any other lead system, and I've cut the tube into a point so it pushes into that rubber connector a little bit easier. No need for super glue there, and in fact, if you do super glue on that join, it will snap because it goes brittle. When it's worked backwards and forwards, it'll end up snapping at that point. And then further back up the tubing, I've got a bit of rig putty there just to help it settle down into the weed. I think that's really important to keep everything away from the fish as much as possible. And then on the end there, we've got a special lead clip called a hybrid lead clip. And it's special because the swivel runs all the way through the middle of the lead clip. So you tie the line to one end coming down from the rod and then the hook link is attached to the other end. So there's no way that swivel can pull out of the lead clip. The lead has to come off. So just to demonstrate that to you, if I hold our pear lead there, and then pull against it, you see how easily that's come off. And that's what the fish is going to do in a fishing situation. It's going to charge off through the weed and the lead's going to come off of the lead clip and the fish will generally come up in the weed and of course there's no lead there to get snagged up in anything. So before you put the rubber connector on at any time during the session, always wet the lead clip with saliva at the back. Let's just wet that down. Before you push the rubber on, if that's sitting there between sessions, what can happen? It can dry out underneath the rubber and stick on there really tightly. Even if your rods are just sitting there out of the water for a few hours during the day, that can tighten up during that period. So always pull it off, wet it, and then push that back on again. Oops, and then you know that it's gonna work perfectly in a fishing situation. One of the other advantages of using rig tubing is it's slightly thicker than other anti-tangle systems, so it's harder for the hook link to actually wrap around it. So if you're single hook bait fishing, I don't fish sticks or bags in this situation because it is so weedy, that will stop tangles better than anything else. And then on the end there, I've got a quick link system, if I can just show you that. I've nipped off the ring of the ring swivel that actually comes on that hybrid lead clip and replaced it with a quick link because I like to attach the hook links in this way so they can be taken on and off really easily. If I was going to use a PVA stick then I could do it with this system. If you just tie to the ring of a ring swivel you can't use a PVA stick in that situation. So all my rigs have got a quick change system on and then moving down on to the next one we've got a hybrid lead clip again but in this situation we've got a safe zone leader that's actually been permanently attached to it so you buy them like that with the rubber connector on it and the hybrid lead clip on it as well again I've snipped off the ring of the ring swivel and replaced it with a quick link very very robust system once you've got one of these tied on unless you cast it up a tree or snap the line you're not going to lose it so a couple of bits of tungsten on there to hold it all down in the weed and of course the weedy green version of that and then the old faithful lead clip system, which again I've got on a safe zone leader there, one of the green safe zone leaders. And you can see there the same rubber and everything, but this time I've got a size 8 swivel that's already on the end of the leader and that's pulled inside that lead clip really tightly. It's what, something a lot of people do wrong, they don't pull it in tight enough, it doesn't click, and then what happens, the swivel pulls out rather than the lead coming off, and then you've got a running rig situation again. It's running backwards and forwards and you'll probably end up losing the fish. So when you pull that in, really pull it tight and it will go click inside and then that stays in there virtually permanently because you've got a quick change system on the end there. So that's how you're attaching and detaching your hook link. So there's no need to ever pull the swivel back out of it. And you'll notice on all these lead systems, I've got a simple pear lead on that. And the reason for it is there's more of the lead coming into contact with the bottom when that lead hits down. So you get more of a tremor down the rod. So it's easier to tell the difference between weed that's that deep and weed that's that deep. If the weed's too deep and the hook gets snarled up on the way down, you're not going to catch anything. So that's really important. And I recommend a pair lead of probably two and a half to four ounces. If you've got too light a lead on, if you get a line bite or it's very windy, it can pull the lead along, the hook gets caught in a bit of weed 
and that's the rig finished. So really, really important to have a decent weight of lead on and that's also going to help you feel everything down. So that's lead systems. Adam's going to show you how to use an inline that drops off when you get a take. Very effective in the weed as well. But personally, I like a lead clip because you can feel the bottom so well and that is so critical to fishing effectively in the weed.